All right, so the reason I came in today is because I've been experiencing a lot of pain and tightness in my ribcage area, and I find that it affects me usually when I'm walking and I start walking super quickly, or if I'm sitting for a long time, I feel it tighten very strongly, or if I start exercising and I'm, and I'm running and I can't catch my breath or my breathing isn't like synchronized yet, that um, I start to feel it cramping very quickly. So uh, what I was really seeking today was to kind of pinpoint the area in my ribs because sometimes it's my abdomen, um, sometimes I'll go to the gym and do abs and the next day it's super tight, so I'm trying to figure out ways to really pinpoint what it is that's bothering me and what causes it and how I can kind of um, work through ways to manage the pain level and try to get me to a place where I don't have to worry about that every day. Super and you're moving to New York proper? Yep, Manhattan. Manhattan. Can I take a shot? Yeah, I might smell um, I won't smell it now. Okay. Okay. Are you afraid? It's not yeah, I'm hurt. concentrating. <laughs> concentrating. You passed this time. Hold that there. Hold that straight. I'm pushing down. Okay. Feel how that one's hard? Yeah. That's a deep uh, abdominal muscle up here. It's actually the coming along the spine and stabilizing it, and right. if it's not working well, then that's gonna be a problem where you have to use some of the smaller rib muscles to stabilize. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So okay. if you touch right here, watch what happens. Hold that there, push. You feel how that yeah. is really, really different if you take your yeah. hand away? Like, like just, yeah. like nothing there. So do so, I work on strengthening my ribs? Yeah, so I'm gonna give you a couple core exercises to do, but okay. also we need to turn this other muscle on so that it, okay. and I'm just gonna work this muscle, it's a little uncomfortable, I'm sorry. No, I know. <laughs> no, oh, right, I know. Me. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about it. Good. <laughs> Good, I, I think the explanation for this is useful. How is it, the worst thing you ever had or second worst? Ow. Three. My appendix acting up was worse. <laughs> okay, that's good. An appendix <laughs> acting up. What what does it do when it acts up? Um, How about there? I'm pushing down. It acts Push. up. They think they. Do you feel how this is happier? Yeah. Push. Stressing this like you're walking. Hold that there. I'm pushing you down. That feels strong. And here, this mimics you running. Hold that there. Mm -hmm. And do you feel how that one just totally yeah. blows you out? So again, here, even if you try really hard, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Nothing. Okay. So that's this part of the pelvis isn't swinging forward as well okay. as this part. So that makes sense based on what you're feeling. Um, where the abs just have to overwork so much on one side because they're trying to force you to swing your legs properly. Hold that there, this should feel a lot better. That's great. So how do I correct that? So for this one, uh, crossing your legs is oh, one of the things yeah. that can really set this off. So what I would say is I'm not, 100% opposed to crossing your legs. Where my issue shows up is where someone always crosses one leg on top of the other, yeah. and they don't switch back and forth. So think of crossing your legs really as a stretch. You wouldn't hold a stretch on one side for extended periods of time without doing the other side. Yeah. And that's essentially what happens when you cross your legs. So what I'm doing now is I'm sort of stretching the opposite way that I think you've been crossing. And so what happens there is one side gets really stretched out and the other side sort of gets more impacted. Okay. So generally you don't want to hold a stretch more than a few minutes and the same thing's true with crossing your leg. And then kind of shifting around with the way you do it, like maybe your legs laying on top of the other leg and then mm -hmm. you switch and then you kind of do the cross leg version just so you're like moving around and mixing it up. Yeah. So far so good? Yeah. Okay, it's a little tight in here. Yeah.
something popped. Yeah. It did? It was it was actually not as big as a normal pop because it was a rib. So oh, ribs really? are like thunks in. It's not oh. like a loud like knuckle pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more like a yeah. What how would I get a rib like that? Twisting and lifting. Okay. So maybe suitcases, maybe yeah, tug of war. Um, <laughs> right, that's, that's probably it. That's definitely it, right? <laughs> Tug of war, um, lifting a heavy bag while sitting, like where you backpack. reach over to the side and grab like a backpack. And do you just think of everything? Do you walk through my day for me? Yeah, I'm <laughs> imagining your day. I mean, that's true, yeah. yeah. That's why I, I nailed Tug of war, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I know last weekend Dude, was your was serious Tug of war. Yeah. <laughs> This one's good. This one's not. Sit again. That's like that. What did you see when I was walking that you noticed? His shoulder was a okay. little bit higher. And then even out on the street, like I'm walking around and something. Yeah, I was going to ask you. I'm like, oh man, that looks like that's going to be really painful. Do you ever try to sell your... Never. Like that? <laughs> Never try to even tell him. The worst thing you can do is give someone advice they're not at all interested in. Do you think you could walk up to someone and be like, I'm sure targeted people, but, and be like, I can tell you're having so much pain with like X, come see me? Yeah, they're not ready though. Oh, okay. Are they so, like in denial? Yeah. Like, really? Everyone for, I mean, I don't know what it was like for you, but in general, most people are like, oh, it's just going to get better. Oh. And I mean, I'll have an, I had a new patient earlier today who, I haven't, I mean, I'm always in shock because I have to try to have a straight face when they tell me how long it's been in pain. And they're like, three years. I'm like, three years? What have you done? And they're like, nothing, I just thought it would go away. Yeah. And they're like, I got your name like seven months ago. I'm like, oh. wow. Okay, well, I'm glad you're here now. But if the rule really is if it's not better in like 10 days, if it doesn't oh. start to get better in 10 days, yeah. it's not going to get better. Okay. Like, Stay. unless you have a fracture and like fractures take a little while to heal, but you should start to feel even better. And, like it should start to feel better in 10 days. Um, and if you're a pro and you're like trying to really train for something, then I say five days. What are things that like yeah. in your everyday life would cause something like that? So like moving, you would throw your neck out or your back out. Like yeah. what other things do people do? Uh, fall asleep on a couch. Oh, okay. Um, yeah carry a bag always on one side. What that about like the, the, the longer up. term ones that aren't gonna heal themselves? Is that like usually like genetic or like something you did it previously in your life? The thing that doesn't fix itself? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it could be like, hey, I went to a berries boot camp. I was out of town okay. all week and I did two berries in yeah. one day and I strained my shoulder. Got it, okay. And it's gonna get better, but then it's just not getting better and they're still training. Hold that there. Okay, walk again. I mean, how you injure yourself, most people, the most common injury story I have is I woke up with this. 
Like, really? Yeah. Um, and it isn't, I mean, it's similar to what you were saying with your stomach. Like, it isn't that yeah. you did something slept funky. Yeah. It's the day before you really loaded it. Yeah. And it, you were strong enough that you could power through it. That's good. Sit here again, let me check your eyes. Uh, you were strong enough to power through, but what that means by powering through is you're using smaller muscles to do the job of bigger muscles. Uh -huh. And the next day they're really fatigued. And if you load them again, right away before they yeah. have a chance to totally reset, then you can tear those or strain those. Yeah. And then you're even less stable. Give yourself a hug. I'm pushing back. Don't let me push. That feels good. Hold that there. I'm pushing. Okay, okay. This one's really easy for me to move. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, this one, I, it looks like I can knock you off, but I can't even budge. And this one is like, <laughs> there's nothing. Okay. okay. Um, this actually has to do with the way the skull is working. So take a breath in and out. Two more. In. Good. One more. I actually have headaches lately, so. That's the sagittal suture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of like weaves together. Yeah. And as you breathe, it moves a little bit. Yeah. And so it seems like maybe you hit your head on something or you've been clenching your jaw. Who knows exactly what it is? But I think I have a tumor. I'm pretty sure you do not have a tumor. <laughs> okay. Give yourself a hug. I'm pushing back. It's not a duma. Hold that there. Don't let me push. Push. That feels way, way better. Wow, okay. Better. Uh, walk again. That should be much, much up here. Cool. Cool. Anything I'm missing? No. All right. That looks really good. Like your shoulders are level, your hips are moving the way I want them. Okay. Um, cool. Walk us through what it was like, what you felt, and then how it's different than other things you've tried. So what I felt today was a lot of, I feel like you were testing a lot of my dip, whatever muscles all work together. So I really got like a wholesome understanding of how something up here can be triggered by something down here or just how your body works together as a whole, which I think we always forget about. Um, and, you know, there was a lot of like working at muscles through like, are you, like, are you asking to describe like the what the yeah. treatment felt like or how I feel now or oh. okay so yeah. it felt like I was able to understand how different parts of my body work together to like make different parts like my muscles work so as I said earlier something up here might have um, been triggered by something down here or I have a lot of problems with my ribs so I, we discovered today that the problems with my ribs oftentimes go all the way down through my abdomen into my hip through my leg and sometimes even into your foot so i think just being aware that um, there's a ton of different things that you can do to trigger pain that might be targeted somewhere that you would never never think of a lot of the treatment i felt like was um you know we pushed on different different areas or massage different areas to kind of relax them in, in one place. So um, we were doing my shoulder and that was helping with um, something on my front side. So just kind of working through that and loosening the muscle and then also some cracking of the joints. Um, like we cracked my neck and I could feel that, you know, like a lot of things just release and like kind of felt a little bit more relaxed. Um, and then with using like some of the tools over here, like the massage tool or whatever, I just felt like a lot of the tension was released and you can just feel that in the way that you walk and you feel like a lot, a lot more easily like flexible and just malleable. Cool. In the beginning, did you want cracks? I can't remember. Did you like it when things Oh, uh, I don't mind. Okay. I am either or. Yeah, and um, that's how you were the first time you came in? Yeah. And before me, before us, um, did, had you ever been to a chiropractor before? I have been to a general chiropractor, not a sports chiropractor, and I think um, there's a huge difference. I always, she always ran through the same sort of like we worked on my back and then we worked on 
my legs and that was about it and this was a lot more targeted so I think at first I was hesitant to come to a chiropractor because I didn't realize how like targeted chiropractic work could be and before this I actually went to a physical therapy to um, address the issue and what we did there was just kind of heat like laser heat work just softening up the area um, I think there was like one pop or two of my in my rib cage but um, other than that, it was given like ab exercises to do, but the pain never really got better and I never felt like I got stronger. I was just doing planks all the time. So <laughs> that's kind planks of about good, as much treatment as I got before this. And then um, I looked into, sometimes I thought it was like GI problems and other things, but I think ultimately like it's triggered through exercise and through you know physical movement. So I kind of came to the conclusion that it would be more muscle related.